I think today's topic will be uh, will be discussing about uh, about uh, skill test in sports, right? Okay, sir. And for testing, we do generally in sports. So then, I think we'll discuss. I think the energy systems and all those things are clear. Yes, right? sir. They are clear. They are clear. And anything yes, uh, anything regarding the astras? Yes, sir. We don't. I don't have any doubts. So Purva, if you have any, you can. No. No, no, ma'am. No doubt. Okay, that's great. Then shall we start? Hmm? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Your screen is sharing still. Okay. I don't know what's happening. Is it visible? Yes, sir, it is visible. Okay. So so uh, uh, do you know some specific tests? Have you heard of uh, what uh, are usually the tests done in what sports and what we see through those tests? Have you any idea? So I just have an idea about the endurance testing. There is no specific sports test. Okay. So uh, in endurance test, what, what all tests you do? So in endurance, like rock pot one mile test to okay. predict the VO2 max. Mm -hmm. That is one of the tests. Then certain step tests are there. Okay. See, when we do uh, specific testing, no? We only uh, analyze these parameters only: endurance, strength, agility, okay, balance, yeah. coordination. All those tests are, tests are basically the same. But what what requirement of the sports is according to those those requirements we change the testing. Because uh, if you will see uh, a basketball player, right, mm -hmm. he will have more requirement of agility, okay, coordination balance and endurance as well right whereas in a sprinter or athlete will not require that much of agility will be requiring only strength and speed right so according to that we vary the tests otherwise the test basic test will be the same uh, because the parameters of the uh, of fitness will be the same for all athletes right okay so, uh, okay, coming uh, to the test uh, in uh, like uh, sports wise, we will discuss few of sports, right? Not uh, every sports we can cover because there are n number of sports played. So, basically, uh, see, you have to see the fitness component first. What basketball have, right? Will will require aerobic endurance in basketball, and aerobic endurance also will be required, 
agility, balance, body composition will be seen, right? Coordination, fitness as a journal. Okay, uh, we'll just uh, when we talk about fitness, so all the above parameters are uh, a part of fitness only, right? But when we see fitness in a basketball player, we just see uh, his fitness, his cardiovascular, his uh, uh, that uh, medical and all those, he's fit to play, right? Then flexibility, psychology, and reaction time, strength, core is very much important, right? So strength, uh, elastic strength, and strength as general strength. Elastic and general strength, what do you mean? Means he will be able to explore the strength throughout that uh, range of motion. And general strength will be his strength to uh, carry on the uh, sports for a longer duration of time, right? Then we will see uh, speed and power test. And these are the tests done, right? If we'll do aerobic endurance test, multi-stage fitness test or deep test, or uh, it is a kind of yo-yo test. Have you heard of yo-yo? No, sir. Oh, okay. So we'll discuss it later, okay? So these are the tests and these are the parameters required for a basketball players, right? Then when it comes to uh, boxing players, Boxing uh, is a basically more of a strength or power driven sports, right? So what we'll be uh, testing aerobic or anaerobic endurance as uh, we have we require in almost every sports, right? Then agility because you, you have seen boxing, boxing needs a lot of agility from here to there and they'll, they have, they need balance, balance on one leg, they'll balance, they'll, they'll be moving continuously here and there. So balance is required. Then body composition, coordination, flexibility, psychological testing, reaction time. Reaction time also in uh, boxing it's very important. See, when it comes to uh, basketball, the reaction time will also there. But in uh, that uh, boxing, the reaction time will be very much important because when when the uh, opponent hit you the, with the punch. You have to be your reaction time has to be very very fine so that you can uh, uh, that uh, sway away from the punches, right? Then again, uh, the core uh, strengthening and uh, the strength and speed. Okay, then cricket. Uh, I think uh, everybody sees cricket nowadays. You also watch cricket, right? Yes, sir. Have you heard of uh, the uh, news about cricketers? Uh, they, the like, uh, I think yo yo has been introduced in the cricket recently. When a lot of players, uh, I mean, the uh, last year World Cup, that 50 year World Cup, few of the players were out of the team due to non compliance of the fitness test. Okay. On that basis, only few of the players were dropped from the team. So by uh, from that time, it has been very important for the cricket players to maintain their fitness. Otherwise, previously uh, the fitness parameters were not that important in cricket, right? Yes. So uh, nowadays, uh, you will see uh, all those uh, parameters uh, they have been tested, and different actually uh, uh, the main some set of uh, tests are very common. They have been used in. Uh, and they have like if you will see that uh, basic fitness test uh, what we have seen this multi stage fitness test or beep test that and yo yo test they are almost similar kind of test okay but it depends on federation wise like basketball federation gives a name multi stage fitness test and uh, the hockey federation they use uh, by the name of yo yo test but they will be more of similar test but what See, testing depends, uh, it is uh, like individual choice. Do you know, uh, if you uh, want to uh, test the strength of an athlete, see, uh, if you are three therapists, three therapists will be uh, like, I'll be testing some other way, you will be testing some other way. So, basic components uh, of the test are similar, but the sports wise federations, what they prefer the test, so that, that has been uh, according to their tests. Right? Then when it comes to cycling, cycling, see, uh, now here you will see 
uh, every test are uh, listed there but in this cycling agility and that uh, balance test it will be like uh, very least required okay but main the strength and endurance test will be very much required for the cyclist right then comes to hockey see uh, hockey again uh, as we discussed that uh, the same uh, kind of uh, basketball and hockey the sports are almost uh, requirements are same so we'll be doing the same of uh, same kind of test right then golf 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 of course uh, actually in golf you never see people running you never see people uh, colliding with each other, each other. but uh, still because the golf is the game where you will be hitting continuously with the arm so strength and endurance both things will be required in golf as well right sometimes when you see uh, um, archery have you seen archeries archers or uh, that shooters yes sir see uh, that archers and shooters when you see from outside uh, they you, you will see they will be standing on a platform and just shooting idly right by seeing the game you will analyze that they require only balance okay upper arm strength okay but uh, when you will see their training see uh, the heart rate you know heart rate also plays a very important role on those uh, those sports because they will be shooting when the heart is also uh, very uh, when if your heart rate is more so your your uh, shivering or your body will like your arms will not be that stable but if your heart rate and if your endurance is very good so those athletes also do endurance training uh, those uh, shooters and agility so that their heart rate pauses will be maintained when uh, they shoot at that time they have to pause everything so that depends so that's why uh, every sports have some unique demands right rowing do you know what rowing is exactly i have seen rowing sir okay rowing you have seen huh? those uh, that uh, uh, the boat and they'll be continuously uh, 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 running through the water so at that time they'll be requiring more of uh, strength in the upper end and the core especially uh, the core will be very much so see test will be there but they will be specifically designed for uh, what segment we have to test like in that case we will be checking the more strength of upper body rather than lower body right right then rugby rugby again it's a like multi dimensional sports so you will uh, require i think almost every component of the game rugby football soccer almost they are the uh, hockey they require almost everything right then see now it comes to uh, running when it comes to athletics running is cooper vo2 max test you have i think you have heard about it right yes sir so um, basically when uh, purely the running endurance athletes they'll be uh, more of requiring in, uh, the vo2 max what uh, only the basic parameter will be the vo2 max every time but they'll again uh, they'll require some kind of strength core muscle strength flexibility as well so those things will be tested on a, uh, these things uh, have you heard of pp pre participation evaluation and uh, that uh, 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 the term which is like uh, prehab or that is, uh, have you heard about these terms? So we have heard about it. See this testing, ah, huh? what uh, every the skill test they will be a part of. Uh, you can say summative, uh, like uh, once uh, in a six month, every six month they will be testing. First, uh, when uh, the players comes to our arena or. Uh, they'll be testing on these tests then after 6 month again they'll be testing so there be uh, a record like whether a person is improving on these tests or he is maintaining that strength or he is going down so those things 
evaluation is done and though that is the base criteria for training the athlete so that's why we do skill testing so uh, now it comes to uh, racket sports see uh, racket sports uh, uh, consist of that badminton uh, tennis table tennis or uh, squash these all are racket sports so they will be requiring and they will be uh, conducting these tests right soccer again the soccer or football you can say in generally they will be uh, using more yo they will depend on yo 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 was first used in uh, soccer only now hockey is also adapting yo 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 test instead of that multi stage test right and i think it will be introduced it is introduced uh, recently in cricket also so a lot of people are doing in yo yo test for endurance test uh, have you heard of yo yo no sir yo yo i haven't you have heard beep test beep test we have i have heard uh, beep test what we do so in beep test uh, we there is actually it i have heard of bleep test i don't okay. know whether it's the same or it's different in which no, there is bleep is different beep is different beep is what uh, actually there is a recorded uh, uh, cassette or cd or uh, something uh, uh, in which there will be pause uh, of every like the beep na once uh, the athlete will start 25 meter from here to there it will start running and that he has to maintain the time within the beeps so okay, that the beeps, beeps shuttle. shuttle run is different shuttle run is uh, uh, something you you can say do, do for agility or something yo yo is you uh, endurance as well as a recovery test so okay. what we do we put a cone on 25 meter distance right yes and uh, the recorded uh, recorded version of yo yo will be played on a tape recorder so once we play the beep uh, one once we uh, add on the beep so he will start running then uh, by the time of second beep he has to reach 25 meters so uh, then uh, there will be pause of 5 to 10 seconds then there will be again a beep he will start from there then he will continue running this way and the duration between the beeps uh, shorten every time so at uh, so that uh, his his speed will increase eventually okay so uh, the, the how much higher the athlete goes that will be more he is having good endurance as well as recovery right okay sir see in swimming basically lot of things like see swimming uh, we don't uh, do anything on like surface uh, you can say uh, running aerobic test or something we have to do everything under water so we need, need to see the uh, resistance provided uh, to the athlete by water also okay so that time we, we have some different test like critical swim speed test or it is a and or a big uh, sprint test also right and uh, the agility to again we will do on the surface only but agility test is not much required in swimming right and then track and field if you go track and field so again for jumping jumps you know uh, for jump we have that queens test or uh, uh, sit and reach for flexibility those things or you can say when when we comes to strength no so we'll be doing more of core strength in jumps because jumping core is required very much right yes. and throws again the track and field throws these tests will be done see uh, these are the basic test names then we'll be discussing each test how it is done and uh, the what will will it will be performed uh, on the ground right okay sir so first uh, as we have seen this multi stage fitness test or beep test right that beep test mm -hmm. what you talking right see how it is performed 
once once we do the testing ha huh, we uh, just evaluate the performance of the athlete so that is the main uh, objective behind the behind testing right so first uh, if if we will go to mercury says fitness test it was developed in 1982 it is uh, basically to monitor the vo2 max right <coughs> and uh, this test is suitable for rowers runners and cyclists because this is basically just an endurance test so this is uh, required on more of endurance uh, kind of sports right so requirements will be for conducting this test will be a flat non slippery surface will be required 30 meters measuring tape 30 meters distance we have to measure marking cones we need multi stage fitness test that audio tape or cd okay and then the uh, recording sheets what we where we will record the uh, time and duration so and uh, uh, one more thing we need stop watches to note the timings right how to conduct see uh, first of all the test will require at least to run 20 meters in the time of a beep from the cd recording as we have discussed in yo yo na so it is 20 meters test yo yo is 25 meters right the athlete first of all uh, prior to every test we do warm up because warm up is required otherwise during the test uh, uh, because testing is at least you are going extreme right that time you can get cramps or something so injuries yes. so we do proper warm up before every test right yes 20 meter section will be marked with the cones right one person will start the cd player okay and athlete commences the test once the athlete arrives the end of shuttle before the beep like once you will start the test he will start running and before the beep he has to read uh, complete the 20 meters right and then he will uh, come uh, uh, he will be repeating that again and again and whatever time he, uh, whatever level he reach that will be better right clear yes sir okay then what we assessed from uh, the uh, msf test vo2 max right that can be determined by the some certain formulas given uh, by the uh, uh, by the uh, msf committee test or by the scientist right there, there is a table provided in which the uh, there will be calculation or some uh, uh, like formulas will be given how to calculate the vmx to vo2 max from the uh, above getting right yes so for elite men athletes right there will be uh, vo2 max will be calculated uh, that is 0.38 into total number of shuttles completed plus 25.98 so that will be the, your vo2 max right and uh, that will be compared from normative data normative data what are the normative data like uh, on uh, that is a, a from a large number of survey for the like any athlete we do what what is the over uh, vo2 max what is good what is average and what is best right so if you yes. compare the normative data in male and females right from 14 to 16 uh, age group to 41 to 50 it is done right so these are the uh, normative tables what we uh, do excellent above average average below average and poor right so these are the level level 12 and uh, level 12 is uh, the level and s s is s is significant as uh, like uh, how uh, he's uh, perceiving the exertion or what kind of speed is that 7 to 12 or what kind of maximum level it is going to reach right so in that way we uh, have a table for to compare clear okay sir then uh, this is a multi stage fitness test and the next test will be running based anaerobic sprint test 
see uh, that was for arabic and now if i have to we have to come uh, we have to measure the n arabic fitness of athlete then we conduct the running based n arabic sprint test that is rast right so it was developed in 1997 okay and uh, what what is the what are the sports which are using so these are cyclist or actually the track runner 400 meter runners or uh, 100 meter or 200 meter sprinters basically use this test right what are the requirements requirement will be again the 400 meter track is required two cones and two stop watches right how to conduct the test require athlete to undertake Six thirty-two meter sprints with ten second recovery. What we'll do? Uh, we'll divide the four hundred meter tracks uh, into thirty-five, thirty-five meter uh, uh, that thirty-five uh, meter uh, areas, right? By the cones. So what they'll do? They'll start running thirty-five uh, meters. Then ten second uh, rest will be there. Then again thirty-five meter they'll run. Then again the ten second rest. So. that that will be a uh, kind of you can say uh, how much uh, lactate he can tolerate right how much he will be doing a complete sprint again that will be anaerobic activity then for 10 second he will be trying to recover then again 35 meter sprint so that will uh, be his peak activity uh, of 35 seconds so in uh, if you, uh, 35 meters so that will be his anaerobic fitness will be testing by that method right clear hello haan ji you know clear yes sir okay see uh, how we will evaluate see when uh, when we do uh, charting of uh, the uh, this test will be using this table first uh, athlete's weight will be taken then first run how much second he it will take second run how much second it will take third run how much second it will take then, so that will be like in 30 first 35 meters time recorded second 35 meter third set so six cycles will be done right and uh, the maximum power what he has generated will be calculated by using this formula right that uh, these two formulas formulas are there to cal calculate the power below like first we will uh, uh, calculate the velocity that will be distance divided by time then acceleration then force weight into his weight and acceleration right then the power of a athlete what he generates during that cycle will be force into the velocity right by that uh, by that thing we will uh, calculate the power okay okay sir then uh, again the second formula is also the weight into distance square and divided by time cube so that we also directly we can have the power of the uh, power generated so why we need power see power uh, is required basically just a second okay See why why we require uh, power. Power will be required uh, to measure the fatigue. Fatigue. What what we do? Fatigue index. Uh, like how early uh, athlete is getting fatigue. So that uh, the maximum power or minimum power. Uh, so that by that uh, thing we can calculate the maximum power generated. Right? Clear. Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay. Then, uh, 
Well, I think aerobic fitness test is in. Then anaerobic fitness test. Now we'll do uh, a lateral change of direction test that is used to uh, measure the agility of athlete. Right? How much agile he is? Do uh, how rapidly he can change the directions. So that is the agility. Right? In that, uh, in that we what we need is a uh, uh, non-slippery surface again. Then three cones and a stopwatch. Right? Three cones on a distance of five five meters. Right? We'll uh, keep the uh, then five meters and the athlete will stand uh, on a uh, cube near a cube that is uh, in the center, like B. Okay? He'll be running five meters here, five meters there. And uh, the uh, the person who is been recording the time, he'll be standing uh, front. He'll be recording time once he go start from the B and touches A and come back to B. So he'll be uh, recording time. Then he'll come to go to C and come back to B. So those times he'll be recording. So that will be his uh, you can say uh, agility test, right? From uh, right to left, left to right, uh, whatever. Direction he is changing and how much time it takes, right? Again, these are the normative values what we generally see uh, in the males and females, right? There'll be uh, we uh, will be calculating uh, first gender time seconds uh, taken from the uh, by the athlete, okay? Then feeds per uh, athlete speed will be having feeds per second, miles per hour, miles per second. Kilometer per hour. In that, we can take a speed of athlete, right? Then speed and the time taken. Both things will be uh, uh, put into data, and these will be the uh, uh, we compared from these normative data, right? So now again, uh, another important parameter is balance, right? Uh, we have talked about uh, three parameters now: aerobic fitness, anaerobic fitness, and uh, agility. Now it comes to balance. For balance, that standing stock test is done. In uh, uh, I think you have uh, generally heard about bugs balance or something, right? We we used to do in neurological testing, right? So it is kind of that kind of test. Yes. Only. Once we uh, do the sway test and all, so it is a single leg balance test. Uh, what we do and uh, with the closed eyes, right? So in this world, what we require, uh, just a warm and dry location like gym or some we can do stopwatch and assist you. What we will do? Athlete will warm up for ten seconds. Will stand comfortably on both in uh, both hands and uh, on hands on their hip. Then uh, he lift his one leg and uh, place the sole against the right right foot. And then he'll just close his eyes. And then he'll he'll just start. When he do uh, maintain this posture, then we'll uh, start with a command go. And then we'll uh, start using uh, calculating his time. So he has to. To hold this position as long as possible, right? Once his uh, feet uh, of other feet he touches the ground, that means uh, it will, the test will be over. Okay. Then athlete rest for three minutes. Then again we'll uh, do with the other feet, right? So both leg will be testing uh, simultaneously. So these are the uh, the. Uh, Data. What are normative data we have? Uh, like in male, uh, it is basically the best times will be uh, up to uh, 60 seconds. Whereas in females, we'll just calculate up to 35 seconds. Uh, in males, uh, the the basic score is 20. So how much you will uh, score from uh, uh, 16, uh, uh, like uh, 16 and above? It will be an average or good score. But basically, you have to uh, how much close to twenty you will be that will be best, right? So in uh, initial five seconds, ten seconds to fifteen, twenty, 
uh, we'll take his data and the scoring will be done according to this table. Then uh, next test will be body composition test. I think this uh, you have done, right? Everybody, I think this. Yes. Uh, I think the one is yeah. calipers. Calipers. So body fat percentage is been calculated by using uh, the body calipers or skin fold calipers. We can say those are uh, the devices which skin folds are taken from uh, six areas, right? Hmm. What are the areas? So it is the upper arm. Okay. We take then we take from the thigh region, the abdomen region. Okay. And uh, it is mid of the abdomen. See, first uh, we'll take triceps, right? Then biceps, then it will be uh, subscapular, right? It will be suprailiac. Yes, subscapular. Right? And uh, it will be uh, uh, thighs. Okay, so those are the uh, basically areas. See, these are the measurement sites from which we uh, take the general the, the skin folds, right? This is subscapular, triceps, biceps, suprailiac. These are the common sites, right? We can, uh, if we want, we can take from bice, uh, this thigh also, but generally it is not been taken in sports person because sports person we usually take these areas. Right. So, uh, I think you know how to conduct the test. Right. Mark the site from where we have to take the uh, skin fold. Pinch it with the both the uh, index and uh, the finger, and then uh, the put on put the caliper, and the reading of the caliper has been taken. Right. Then I think you know how to take the skin fold caliper, right? Then what we assess from this? Assessment is uh, uh, done to estimate the percentage of body fat, weight of body fat and fat free body weight. These uh, three, four things will be calculated by using the, the skin fold caliper method, right? Yes, sir. And so these are the normative fat datas, okay, which are essential fats uh, uh, like uh, what all ranges fat has to be there in which sports, right? When you see uh, the uh, sports like basketball, baseball, football, there there is a body, what are endurance sports basically. So there will be uh, ranges are less, right? But when we comes to strength sports like uh, in uh, basketball or baseball, we need strength also, right? So there there are uh, a bit higher ranges of fat, right? But when it comes to more of running, which sports required like with the field hockey or gym, uh, you can say tennis or the their fat requirements are fat are a bit less, okay? So what what are uh, what are fat free uh, body mass or lean body mass? I think you know these terms, right? Yes, sir. Fat free body mass is the body uh, weight which is divided of all the fats, or whether it is essential or non essential fat. Uh, removing all those fats, the remaining mass will be fat free body mass, right? Whether it's lean mass will be the fat with the uh, the uh, body with the essential fats that is lean body mass right yes and lean body mass this term was given by the bank in 1974 right uh, then uh, fat free tissue density density is what have you heard about fat free tissue density? Why we take density? No idea, sir. 
see density is why we take density because uh, if we will take a uh, body mass or lean body mass or fat free mass but density we take like uh, because the tissue how the fat is distributed that's why we take the density some like uh, if we go uh, in a cross sectional area then how the fat is distributed whether it is been distributedly very uh, you can say uh, linearly throughout the area or some areas of uh, having high density of fats and some areas having very least density so that we can concentrate on the particular part for uh, uh, maintaining the uh, body fat ratio right okay sir. so typical uh, fat i i think you know between a man, man it is 15 to 70 degree whether it is in, in female it's 18 to 22 per, Percent, right? Because uh, the female, the essential, essential fat is, uh, I think, a bit more, right? Clear? Yes, sir. So these are a few tests what we have discussed, right? I think uh, in next classes we will discussing a few more specific tests. Uh, one, I think, one last class I think we'll take. Uh, that yes, sir. conducting uh, all these uh, uh, remaining tests and we'll have some recent advancement uh, in sports what we are in, having in rehabilitation uh, that will be I think concerned to our area so that will be better right okay sir so uh, do you uh, have any questions about these tests what we have discussed no, sir. I just wanted to see once the slide for cricket and cycling, sir. The test which were conducted for cricket and cycling. Cricket and cycling. See, these are the tests for cricket. Uh, if you want, I can uh, share the slides also with you. Right? So that would be very nice. Uh, no problem. I'll just send you the slides through WhatsApp or something. You can see, right? Okay. Fine, so fine. So Thank you so these much. These are the tests what we do in cricket. You see that? Yes. Uh, if you want to ask any of the tests, how. Uh, see, this psychological testing is also very important nowadays. Uh, that uh, in, usually in every sports nowadays, the psychological testing has been done. Have you uh, uh, heard the term burnout or sports anxiety or these terms? I think nowadays it's yes, very common. Yes, burnout sir, we have heard. A lot of athletes, they are uh, retiring uh, because of their burnout issues. Uh, now, I think uh, recently in cricket, uh, one South African player who retired, uh, just because England player, England. He retired because he is just having some psychological issues, right? So that's what uh, nowadays we are uh, conducting uh, psychological testing also very frequently. Okay, this is cricket and this is cycling what we do. Yes. Uh, Queen's College step test, I think you heard. Oh, I think this is very common. Yes, sir. Queen's College step test, I have heard. And uh, body fat percentage again we do by the same hand-eye coordination test. Have you heard, uh, have you heard or have you done anything on hand-eye hand -eye coordination test? I have not done. Maybe Apurva, you would have done it. Mm, Apurva? Apurva, I don't know whether she is there. I don't she is from Neuro, so most probably she must have done this. Hmm. Okay, uh, no problem. Any uh, a few of tests, uh, the word what we are remaining, huh, will be cut because uh, yes, sir. ruler drop test I have seen. Okay, because we have covered uh, till here, right? Uh, aerobic, anaerobic, yes. agility, balance, body composition, we have to uh, cover, right? Next week, oh, yes, coordination and general, these, these all parameters we will cover once. One one test at least we will do, right? Oh, yes. Clear? Anything else you want to know? Yes. Uh, no, sir, we will be covering why, why it is being done, how it is 
you will learn uh, uh, any idea about this uh, what all uh, different testing we can do see uh, there are also two, these these tests what we are discussing you know, these are field based test right yes sir one thing i want to discuss that there are two type of testing one is field based and one is laboratory based testing so uh, laboratory yes. based testing in sports we are doing very least because they are you know uh, always a constraint of taking them to the lab and doing testing and all it's not that possible right so every time uh, most of the time we follow the field based tests only so that uh, that's why uh, i i was more discussing the field based tests only okay in view to that you also know that uh, in the laboratory also we can do testing yes that. sir that's that not not very you can say very feasible with the sports people yes sir okay so these all are field based test right here anything else no sir not from my side we'll be having next class on monday sir so uh, it's coming monday sure sure yes sir yes okay sir. no problem then we'll be discussing this test again okay and after that yes, uh, finishing the test then we'll have a short discussion on the recent advancement in sports and uh, rehabilitation right okay fine sir fine clear so yes sir okay we shall now wind up class okay sir Okay then. Thank you sir. Okay, see. You. Bye bye. Okay, Shubham. आपने रिकॉर्ड कर लिया होगा. Hello. Shubham, shall I close the meeting? Hello, hello, Shubham. Ma'am, meeting end कर दूँ ना?